Hello and welcome back. This week I have Abby with me. She was in the back last week and a lot of you asked who she is. And she's the co-founder of The Voice for Love. And um, it's our organization dedicated to changing the conversation around the voice, um, getting rid of all the stigmas, all the old language that doesn't serve, and also helping those going through the process. And this week we want to talk about the myth of the um, staying together for the children, which is a very honorable reason to decide that you want to remain in the marriage, but uh, we would like to go a little bit deeper. So it is true, if there are children in your marriage, one of the biggest things to consider is how is this going to affect my children? And there is going to be an effect, no doubt about it. The question is, are you putting the weight of the decision on their shoulders? Or are you making a decision that whether they're gonna have trouble accepting or not, eventually it is your decision. They'll never feel the energetic or even the words that come out of your mouth saying, I had to stay in a relationship that I wasn't happy about for your happiness. So it's very important that when you ask yourself the question, should I stay for the kids? You do realize the impact that it's going to have on your children if you remain in a relationship that you were not happy about. They are going to feel that unhappiness. They are going to feed off that frustration. And eventually they're going to feel that to some degree they are the cause of that because you stayed in it because you wanted to avoid their suffering. And we mentioned last week that a big problem with the divorced children wasn't necessarily the fact that their parents were divorced. It was the fact that there'd been a lot of conflict before the step of divorce was finalized. So consider this, you may just stay in a relationship where there is a rage, where there is confrontation, where there is maybe even verbal or physical abuse, and they're witnessing this. What you are saying to them when you decide that you're going to stay in the marriage for the children is that you're saying this is going to continue. Unless you found a way to stop that pattern, this is going to continue, or this may even escalate. So that may be the question that you need to be asking is, the current environment that my children are growing on, is that what I want to maintain? Is that what I want to stay in? And try and be fully honest with yourself. Uh, last week when we were talking about conflict, it sparked a conversation where some people said, well, your children have to be exposed to conflict. I mean, you, you cannot live in the Truman Show where nobody disagrees. But our point was, it's okay if they see um, slight disagreements, debate. Um... That's it? You're disagreeing with me? Mm -hmm. they, they cannot see the full-on conflict, the aggression that sometimes comes. And um, I, was, I was saying to a friend, would you ever make love in front of your children? And the majority of people will say no. Yet, when it comes to arguing and conflict, we make war in front of our children, then that's having the biggest impact on your child. And then there is also the other question to ask, is this an excuse? Am I saying I'm staying for the children, but the reality is that I'm scared, or I'm not sure that I can pull this off, or I don't have the financial means to do it, or whatever the reason is. There could be other reasons, and yet we are saying no, this is because of the children. So again, just some food for thought. Let me know in the comments what do you think. Is it a good reason to stay together for the children under any circumstance? Or should we ask first, is this environment the most appropriate for the children to grow? I'd like to read a passage from this book, The Awakened Family, from Dr. Shefali Sabari, which is another great book. and. And she has this fantastic sentence about parents going through divorce where she says, Conscious parents ease their children through the stages, all the while maintaining civility in their dealings with each other. By modeling non-reactivity, parents demonstrate to their children that though not all marriages last, their families certainly will endure this transition and stay firmly grounded as a unit through the time. 
Well, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, we get to see you next week. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And comment below. Good job. Nice video. Aloha and see you next Friday.